Is it time to buy or sell Intel stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Intel. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, May 25, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 8, 2023, our system has ranked Intel as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 2.70. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of minus 10.95%. This translates to an average loss of minus 0.78% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The current 3-month trend suggests a potential 10.19% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between 10.19% and 40.67%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 22.68% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 36.84% and minus 2.32%. This translates to a price range of $17.31 to $26.77 after a year. Our latest daily update for Intel includes the headline, Is Intel stock still a buy after falling minus 5.52% on Thursday? The Intel stock price fell by minus 5.52% on the last day, Thursday, May 25, 2023, from $29 to $27.40. It has now fallen three days in a row. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 5.27% from a day low at $26.86 to a day high of $28.27. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a minus 5.06% loss for the last two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day by 49 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 76 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $2.08 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $44.93, and the lowest price was $24.59. Currently, the price is 39.02%, or $17.53, below the 52-week high, and 60.46%, or $41.89 below the all-time high on January 24, 2020, when the price reached $69.29. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, November 16, 2022, Credit Suisse set a price target of 28. On Wednesday, November 16, 2022, Credit Suisse set a price target of 28. On Wednesday, November 16, 2022, Credit Suisse set a price target of 28. On Friday, November 11, 2022, JP Morgan set a price target of 32. On Friday, November 11, 2022, JP Morgan set a price target of 32. Analysts have given Intel stock a general buy rating. They rate the PE ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Intel. There are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. The Intel stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $29.24 and $30.39. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, April 4, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 17.22%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. 
Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 37 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 1 day ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 15 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 22 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 3 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 45 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Intel Intel finds support from accumulated volume at $27.22 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock is usually traded at a good volume, and with minor daily changes, the risk is considered to be low. During the last day, the stock moved $1.42, 5.27%, between high and low. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.92%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Intel, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A relatively low P-E ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on July 26, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at dash $0.0400. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Intel. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Intel is at $29.81. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Intel encounters its first support level at $27.22. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Intel from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On May 15, 2023, Gelsinger Patrick P. conducted an insider buy of 35,135 shares of common stock. On May 15, 2023, Gelsinger Patrick P. conducted an insider sell of 17,420 shares of common stock. On May 15, 2023, Gelsinger Patrick P. conducted an insider sell of 35,135 shares of restricted stock units. On May 11, 2023, Laviso Muri Risa J conducted an insider buy of 4,828 shares of common stock. On May 11, 2023, Laviso Muri Risa J conducted an insider buy of 7,152 shares of restricted stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 4.550. Overall, Insiders purchased 416,973 shares and sold 386,229 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Intel stock a good buy? The Intel stock holds several negative signals and despite the positive trend, we believe Intel will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Friday, May 26th, 
we expect Intel to open up $0.108 and start trading at $27.51. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.